So we're going to do very short lessons for a few, little while here tonight just to get you involved so that you feel like you're actually learning something and you've got something under your fingernails the first night you can take home. So on, in category 7 in your syllabus on page 94, there's something called the Jewish clock. It's a very simple thing, but it gives great understanding in your particular studying of the Word of God. <clears throat> In the Bible, there is a Jewish clock. It's totally different than what you and I use in our day. In biblical times, this clock was divided into 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of darkness. <clears throat> the hours began at 6 a.m. and went through 12 hours until it reached 12 midnight. That's why when you're reading in the Bible and it talks about the third hour of the day, it would have been 9 o'clock in the morning. The sixth hour of the day would have been noon. Jesus died on the cross in the ninth hour at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The crucifixion took place in the third hour at 9 o'clock in the morning. He was on that cross for six hours. So if you know how the clock works, and the Bible makes references to the third hour of the day, the fourth hour of the day, the ninth hour of the day, it helps you understand where you are. And then the night was divided into four watches. From 12 o'clock midnight, um, it started with <clears throat> the first watch, and that would have been from... Um, 6 p.m. in the evening here until 9 p.m. And then the second watch was 9 p.m. until midnight. And then the third watch was from 3 a.m. to uh, or midnight to 3 p.m. The fourth watch was 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. So if you know this, the first watch was 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. The second watch was 9 p.m. to midnight. The third watch was midnight to 3 a.m. The fourth watch was 3 a.m. The 6 a.m., if Jesus came walking on the water in the fourth watch of the night, that means that storm took place somewhere between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m., and Jesus came walking on the water in that fourth watch. Interesting, isn't it? So at the bottom of this page, there are a number of places where these particular times, watches and hours are mentioned. It has to do with the Jewish clock. Lesson finished.